Okay, so for number six, um, we want to give examples of non-empty sets A, B, and C such that these things here are true. So we're going to construct these, um, we're going to draw them with Venn diagrams just to visualize what it looks like. So for A, we're looking for a C that's in the union of A and B, and that the intersection of A and B does not, uh, is not contained in C. So uh, this is going to be A, that's going to be B, and C uh, does not contain this intersection here. So I'm going to put C, maybe I'm going to put C here, because if C is in A, then C is going to be in the union of A and B, right? Um, but the intersection is not going to be contained in C. So now all that's missing is for us to give it some values. So maybe I'm going to say that um, there's one here, two, and three. And so if we do this, we have that A is going to be the set uh, one, two. Oops. A is going to be the set one, two. Um, B is going to be the set two, three. And C is going to be the set one. So we can see that one is contained in the union, but the intersection of A and B is not contained in C. Um, so now let's do item B. So we have that A is contained in B. A is a subset of B. So I'm going to say that this is A, and this is going to be here, B. And then C is inside the intersection of A and B. Well, the intersection, what A and B have in common, they have... Um, this entire thing in common, right? Uh, so we're saying, hey, C is contained inside that intersection. So maybe we can say that this is good here is going to be C, right? And so all we have to do is give it some values. So I'm going to put one, two, and three. So here I'm going to say that A is the set uh, one, two. B is the set one, two, three. And C is the set one. So if we do this, it is true that A is a subset of B and that C is a subset of the intersection between A and B. Okay. So for item C, we are going to draw something that says uh, A union B is a subset of C. So if I draw that this is A and that is B and their union, so every possible value here is contained in C. So maybe we can draw C as being outside here. So we've taken care of this and C is not contained in B. Well, we've made it like this as well because C is much bigger than B, right? So if I say have a value here, that's not gonna be contained in B. So um, all that's left is for us to put values in this. Um, and actually I'm going to make these disjoint for the sake of it. So I'm gonna say that this is gonna be uh, two and that's gonna be three. So I'm going to say here that A is the set containing 2, um, B is the set containing 3, and C is the set containing 1, 2, 3. Because if I do this, then the union is of A and B is inside C, um, but C is clearly not contained in B, so that's fine. Um, and then for item D, we're going to say that A is not in the union of B and C. So uh, if I put here A, A is not in the union of B and C, and B is not in the union of A and C. However, C is in the union of A and B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it like this. Um, so that's A, that's B. And let's see, A is not included in the union of B and C. So maybe what I can do here is I'm going to put that C is going to be inside here. Because if I do this, then clearly A is not inside C. Uh, well, not all of it, right? And A is not inside B. So if I put some value here, one outside and two there, we can see that A is not, and maybe three here, A is not included in the union of B and C. Um, and B is clearly also not included in the union of A and C. Um, but C is included in the union of A and B because C is inside A. So if it is inside A, it is definitely in the union of A and B. So with this being said, we're going to say that A is the set um, 1, 2, B is the set 3, 
and C is a set containing two. So let's just double check that. Um, A is not in, yes, A is not a subset of B and union C. B is not a subset of A union C, and C is a subset of A union B. Yeah, that is correct. So for E, um, for E, let's draw it out. We're going to have that A is a subset of B union C, B is a subset of A union C, and C is a subset of A union B. And intersection of A and B is equal to the intersection of A and C, with A not equal to B. Well, if this here is true, if these intersections are true, um, but A is not equal to B, it must mean that B is equal to C, right? That's the only way for them to be true. So I'm going to say that this set is B, and this set is also C. So they are the same set. So that's the only way for this to be true. And so if they are the same set, and let's see where A fits in. So A is contained in the union. So maybe we can put A inside here. So maybe we can do this, because then B is contained in the union of A and C. That is true, because B is the same thing as C. And C is contained in the union of A and B, because C is contained in B. So yeah, this works perfectly. So maybe I'm going to say that this is going to be 1, and that's going to be 2. So for this set, I have that A is equal to, uh, I have that A is equal to 1, uh, B is equal to 1, 2, and C is equal to 1, 2. And lastly, um, lastly, I'm going to have a situation where A intersection B is contained inside C, right? So the way that we're going to have C is that uh, both A, that intersection is going to be contained inside C. And then A is the union of B and C. So maybe we can do this. So this is going to be, let's see. I'm going to say that this is B. Um, if A is a union, let me see how we can make this work. A is a union, but A intersection B is inside. So maybe what we can do is say that this is going to be, um, this is going to be C here. Let's see if that works. And A is going to be, A is also going to be this outer set. So A is equal to B. Um, Actually, I can do something different for this to work. I can say that this is A, that's B, and that's C. Because if I do this, then the intersections contain inside C, the intersection of A and C is contained inside B, the intersection of B and C is contained inside A, and A is also the union, so this works. So for this one, I can just say that A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, and C is equal to 1. Okay. So that is it for number six. We were able to find these using Venn diagrams.